I'll be giving a quick demonstration of the new uh, UV mapping tool in uh, Quad Tools uh, 0.4. Um, first of all, I'm going to pick a uh, textured material from uh, the in the model material list. It can't be from the library, it has to exist in the model before you do anything. Uh, then you activate the uh, mapping tool and when you hover over a um, quad face uh, mesh uh, you're asked to pick a um, origin for the um, UV mapping. Uh, what we do first is pick the U direction and then the B direction and from there um, the mapping tool will uh, try to analyze the, the mesh and, and, and make a continuous mapping. So start with, let's stay here, let's pick that for the U direction and it gives you two options of two connected edges here, either going upwards or downwards, let me pick this one. And here you can now see it's mapped the, um, it's mapped the uh, the mesh continuously and I'm going to turn off the uh, UV grid illustration so you can see the texture is better. Mm. Now the red one is the U-axis and the green one is the V-axis and I can click on that axis to change the mapping. And as I change the mapping you can see that the um, uh, value control box updates as well and if you want you can type in um, your own values and in addition to that you can flip the U and V scale between the, um, the U and the V axis uh, you can choose to scale proportionally, so when you scale one axis, it also scales the, uh, the other axis accordingly. Uh, another option here is to use the uh, material size. Um, you can see here it's set to 1000 by 1000 millimeters. So if I go here and go material size, it updated to do the same thing. And back. I want it like that. Uh, I can, you, you also got the option of um, unticking the continuous snapping uh, and then each uh, texture will be mapped in individually and there's no continuations across the uh, across the mesh. But that is really what you want. Uh, continuous snapping on. Back to see how it flows across the mesh. Now, currently I've been using um, absolute length to specify uh, U and V mapping. We can also use relative lengths. So if I, for instance, type 1 by 1, you can see it tiles the texture uh, 1 times across the uh, U axis and one times across V axis for each mesh. Now, if I type two for the U and one for the V axis, you see that the texture now tiles two times across along the U axis. Uh, and similarly, if I do two times 0 0.5, you can see that it, it tiles half a time uh, across the U axis, uh, across the V axis. Sorry, uh, I can still go back and change it in any updates here. Uh, I can use this time two by three by. Actually, I want to flip that. Uh, you can see it just goes seamlessly across the whole surface. Um, 
the initial one last feature I didn't mention too much about is to show UV grid. That's more for debugging or uh, visualizing how the tool has managed to um, analyze uh, the mesh which is selected. Now the continuous mapping it, it can only be done on uh, meshes on, on simple regular ones where um, everything can be mapped um, back into a simple two-dimensional grid. If you have many loops um, in your mesh, if you have um, rings, or you have lots of forks in 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 the, topo in the topo uh, topology, then um, the UV mapping is not going to work. I'll I'll come back to that later in a in a different uh, video. Then it's going to finish off with a little example of this window here. I've got a brick texture selected, and I I'm going to pick this edge for you and this for the we the we and at the moment you can see it's using uh, relative scaling so this one gets stretched um, a lot compared to the rest of them so we want to use an absolute length here so I'm going to type in 500 millimeters by 500 I don't know uh, we can fix that later on um, and now we can see, turn that off, it, it works um, better across the whole surface here. Now, if I tweak this, make sure I think I want to make, yeah, if I tweak this, so the first row of Tiles hits that edge, and we can scale it down like this. Now there is some weirdness going on up here when you see the um, geometry is quite extreme, or at least the quad faces are quite skewed, and, and how weird distortion here. Um, these are going to look better if I uh, triangulate them. Uh, you can see it, it cleaned up a little bit here. Now the outer ring here works um, reasonably well uh, for a moment, but I want this edge here to map with that one and to do that I need to make a, a local mapping so I select the ring Oops. select one edge make a ring selection and I want to select the quads related to the ring uh, and now I could map just this, um, uh, just this particular ring. So if I want to have a double one there, that's looking good. Um, I can do the same for this ring. Um, do Select quads from inches and pick you direction and direction there. And I think I want this one to be slightly bigger. There we go. And there is still some. Uh, strange things going on <clears throat> at the corners because the uh, quads are skewed again. 
Um, in, the, in this particular case, we we don't want the UV mapping to um, conform to the chord shapes. So for here, I'm just going to do a little bit of manual uh, mapping. So I don't need to do that actually. that and we have quickly and easily mapped um, this arch and um, some continuous textures 